Okay, so in this tutorial what we're going to go over is how to create roofs in IES. Now the simplest means of doing so is to do nothing. If we do nothing, then what will happen is that the top of any element that we have will become a roof. If you're wondering why this model is a little bit more complete than if you're following these videos sequentially, well the reason being is that um, I miss uploaded a video and I'm having to go back and re-record it, it's fine. But, if we wanted something a bit more complicated than a flat roof, then our initial touch would be to select everything and hit generate roofs and we've got a bit of a choices that we can add here. Okay. And you can see that that has created a fairly nice triangular looking roof. If we wanted to go into more detail, what we can do is we can add, we can actually create a roof for this space. So I'm going to add a rectangle on top and this rectangle will be probably floating in the sky. That's fine because we're going to be doing a lot of manipulation with it. So let's bring that down to on top of our roof and the height of the square would be the same height as the maximum pitch, the maximum height of our roof. And then it'd be a case of cutting the building up, uh, cutting the roof up until we get a desired type arrangement. This can be quite time consuming because what you'll end up doing is you'll be using things like the construction lines to measure out where the pitches are which can be quite important if you have things like solar PV and you're trying to get the angle right or if you've got windows and you want to understand how those things are collecting the solar gains. So there's a lot of that involved and you might be fiddling around as well with um, making certain angles and gluing. And what I mean by gluing is you'll end up having to cut the roof up in plan mode, so if um, I say there's a hip coming across here, then I'll probably end up having to cut this like so, move that little portion there, and then I'd be drawing a line across here. Just so I'm dealing with this portion here, head to the left. Sorry, right even. The quirk with IES is you cannot um, cut on the left plane. There are arguments to be said about how much is actually really gained by modeling in this kind of fashion, but Depending on the application, you may need to. I think I've, there's a good chance I've done this wrong. Let's have a look. No, oh, that's correct. Okay. We need the right hand plane. Yeah. There we go, and we can see we start to get that pitch correct. No, I have made a mistake. going to do to make this a bit simpler for myself is turn off a lot everything on the drawing that isn't what I'm working on at the moment. Okay. Grab 
to those two pieces there, front. Back. our hip. As I mentioned, this is can be quite a time consuming process, particularly if you've got quite a complicated roof structure and it's difficult to say how actually important it is. For most intensive purposes you probably won't create a roof this to this level and it'd be far more appropriate just to use the auto created. Anyway so that would be one way of creating a roof structure. I'm going to delete that off actually for the time being. And what we'd also be doing is then connecting those bases back together. One thing that is quite useful when we're thinking about pitched roofs in particular is whether the room connects into the roof cavity and whether it's barriered. So if you imagine we've got a roof with an attic, uh, a room with an attic above it then that attic could potentially be adding heat loss across a series of rooms. But if there's no floor between the room and, uh, and the roof pitch, then actually what you might get is a far larger space that would need to be heated or cooled. And that might want to, you might need to take that into consideration. So the way that we do this is I'm just going to add in a quick roof again and I'm going to use draw partition tool in plan mode to simply trace around the roof eh, looks like I didn't build that square okay it's not too important and I'm going to select the room below it I want to merge that with the room above and remove partitions. Merge. And now what we have, we have a geometry glitch there. Hang on, let's see if we can, can't heal that. <laughs> Typical. Well, ignoring that for the time being. If we go down to this space, we can see that we have that annoying glitch, but we do have this space now, which is a double height space, which would take into account the heat loss through the pitch surfaces to this room. So that's, that's dealing with roofs in IES. Typically the principle will be to keep it simple where possible. One other thing while we're at it is if you're looking to add a window in then you're pretty much stuck with going down to the surface and then adding them in. Just be careful when you're looking and this is just for apprentices that when you're taking the size of a window in plan for of a roof light remember that the pitch will have an effect on the vertical length so the windows are going to be longer than what you've measured and you'll need to use a bit of simple trigonometry take the uh, width as your guideline because that will be correct and then work out the length via uh, the pitch Alright, that's all for this video, hope you've enjoyed.